Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Welcome to the Alumni Hop Journal Giveaway. I will show you a page I was really heavily inspired by Maria von Le Gosbaum. Um, some of you might know her, or a lot of you might know her, Busy Mo Studios, and she's making a awesome stuff and I give it a go. I've never attended one of her classes. She's given them free so but I didn't have time. I will do that after my holidays definitely. Can't wait to have a look how she does it. That's I try it. I give it a go and try this style. So I put some on a very textured um, page I put some tissue paper and on top of that I put white gesso to yeah bring it all together. And but I wanted to have even more texture, so I use my um, polyfiller. This hole when you have a nail in the wall and you want to um, fix that, you're using this stuff. And uh, the, I love it. You can put some texture into it. You can press your stamps in, and it dries so quickly. It's absolute. I love to work with it. So I let that dry. That's a crackle stamp and let that dry but it will definitely have some sharp edges so that's why I go over with this nail file to get rid of them. They are really sharp but I'm not uh, removing a lot otherwise I will get yeah I will lose my my crackles there so but uh, to get rid of all the dust there's always a bit dust left so I put some acrylic binder on top and that makes it uh, better or workable again because this polyfiller would soak up quite a lot of uh, paint again. I didn't like the white in the background so that's the reason why I use the uh, fluid acrylic from Golden in Titan Buff. It's uh, not a really a color but it, um, yeah, it gives you a nicer background I think. Uh, for what I wanted to do, because the next step, I forgot to video that, it's already on, it's a glazing, and I used the Sienna, Burn Sienna and uh, the glazing medium, and I use it one to one, I mean one part paint, one part glazing medium, and then I let it dry, and you need, when you do that, it's trying and trying to find out when is the right time to start to remove it, because you want to keep it in the right places like the wrinkles and the crackles and yeah wherever so but this time I got it right and uh, the paint was left where I wanted so that was worked fantastic sometimes it doesn't I have to do it again so you have to try that and now I throw everything on this page I have shiny color wise and I'm not really having a lot most of it is um, Maya Gold, really love that shininess. It's shiny and glit no, not glittery. It is shiny and, and, and yeah, not yeah, a bit glittery, but without being tacky glittery, you know what I mean? And really like that stuff. And I use everything, all the um, a lot of colours I have, of course I'm not mixing everything. And here I put on, on top of the um on the raised areas that was turquoise and that's petrol now it doesn't look um, as it is a lot of different but it is you will see it at, in the close up and go on with this uh, violet and on this flatter areas I use my or a baby wipe wet baby wipe to blend it out a bit I only wanted to have it very covering or concentrated on the raised areas that's why I, uh, on the flatter, way, uh, flatter areas, I, I blend it out mostly. Because you will keep this really fantastic background. You will see that in the close-ups. I really like this effect. So, and I go on. So, guys, this is, I don't know if you started here. If you started here, this is part of a hop, this video. And uh, we are all from um, Chen Green's inspiration conspiracy group alumni hop and we thought we are doing another hop now together but with something special there is a giveaway involved you have to when you watch the video go in and put into the comment enter me that means you want to be entered into the comp into the giveaway when you've watched my video and you finished go into the description box down below there is the rotation list and click on the 
first link that will bring you to the next video and so on do that again in the next video but you have to comment in all the videos and put in enter me and then you will take part in the giveaway you will be in the draw and um, I will be the binder as well from that from our group here we will have three groups one group already took part and um, I bet you've seen that and we are the second group and there's a third group coming so stay tuned for that and um, as I said I will be the binder of our group I already have all the pages and I can tell you they are absolutely amazing and I will show you another video coming up in this hop where I show you the making of the notebook and at the end I go quickly through show you all the pages in there and tell you a bit about that and um, you have to watch that of course and comment it with enter me as well so you know everything now and uh, I wish you a lot of luck and this is already no it's not the end I use this um, what do you call that hematite we call it hematite 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 might be it's almost black it's um a very dark gray but that's the only dark shiny color i have to get a bit more depth on this um creases and texture and yeah i think that works quite good so i think i have to get more of this shiny colors definitely but i think i will so okay so the next thing I have some of these pearl makers, some of them are very shiny and I use them here and put some bigger drops and or pearls and some smaller ones. I put some silvery ones on, you will see soon. You can see me here dabbing this page and I do it for the reason to get rid of these peaks on top of the pearls. It's always a good trick. Don't shake it too much, only a bit tap in on the right left and um, this is okay now there is a silver pearl maker and that's it only a few accents here and there very randomly apart from the bigger ones I wanted to have them at the end of this of this yeah can you say tricks sort of so and this is the very last bit. It's um, Maya Gold and Silver for a few very light highlights. Light highlights for some highlights. Let's say it like this. So you will see a short, um, um, not a short up, a close up of this page. And after that, you will see a very quick close up from the second page I made you can see the shine it's ugh, you can't pick it up that much on a video but it is absolutely fantastic you can see the background here that's by blending out with a baby wipe that's what I mean where you get out the distress look I really love this effect absolutely beautiful so I didn't put a focal point on this page because I think it has enough on. It doesn't need a focal point. My focal point this time is all the shine and all the beautiful colors. And the texture, of course, doesn't need more. And some of these pearls, absolutely enough. And you will see now the second page I made. It's a monochromatic, very simple, not simple, simple, but a very, yeah, I left it very, very decent and without any colors. And my motto here is, um, I want to make beautiful things, even if nobody cares. That's von Sol Bass, and that's my engine. Really, it is when I think about that. Do I care or do I have a purpose to make my beautiful art? No, I haven't, because it makes me happy. And it is fantastic if people like it. It really is fantastic and keeps me going as well. But I have this urge to make beautiful things. And I think a lot of you can uh, 
know what that means and they know they do it on the same or for the same purpose so guys that's it thanks a lot for watching and keep hopping it's so worth it believe me thanks for watching guys have a fantastic time bye bye